mold, rat infestations, and lead paint. These are just a few of the major health problems that military families can face every day in base housing. That's according to the Military Times. The Navy taking new steps to make sure that sailors and their families aren't living in subpar housing. It's rolling out housing inspectors in response to the national concerns over military housing that resulted in congressional hearings. Only Action News Jack's Ryan Nelson got a first-hand look at the changes being made for military families. The Navy is rolling out a first-of-its-kind housing inspectors course to make sure families are staying safe in military housing. In the wake of a national privatized military housing crisis, the Navy is training and preparing its own housing inspection specialists. It's all an effort to bring an added level of oversight to third party housing. Southeast Regional Housing Director Richard Dye gave Action News Jax an exclusive inside look at what inspections may look like. Things like this that we see that has water intrusion, obviously, there's ductwork right there, there's some problem there. Dye tells us inspectors are being trained to make sure housing remains in good condition for those who serve. The Navy can assist with the landlord, walk through the house, try to identify any deficiencies. Shelly Federico tells Action News Jack she was an original whistleblower in the national military housing crisis in 2011. She tells me her former husband, a Marine, was stationed in Virginia at the time. She says their home fell into disrepair resulting in severe health effects from mold. She now lives in Jacksonville. I like to hear that we are starting to get back um, some, some handle and some stronghold on, on our houses. While she says the Navy is moving in the right direction, she believes more needs to be done to protect families. I'd like to see more improvement along the way. Um, it's going to take uh, uh, many years to undo what has happened. Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jax. And Action News Jax did several stories in the past about just how bad conditions got in homes. In March, a North Carolina family showed our Action News Jax Washington Bureau the major problems they had in their home, which was collapsing. The wife in that family took her concern to Capitol Hill and the push for the change that we are seeing today.